Hey, hey everybody, welcome to this video that explains how to fix the most annoying problem on Windows, the problem where you can't set it to automatically boot. And if you do, it just keeps asking you to put in a different password because it says password incorrect. I know it's freaking annoying and it's bugged me for years and I finally figured it out. I tried asking Microsoft support for help, they couldn't figure it out either, but while I was talking to them, I managed to figure it out myself. So what it is, is a mistake on Microsoft's part, and we'll go over the steps you can do to correct the mistake that they have for changing it to automatically boot. Right, so next I'll go over the steps. And it is the traditional steps, they tell you how to do it, but there's one thing that's labeled incorrectly, and that's what fucks everyone over. So that, that's what I'll show you next. So here, you have to type in the same thing that the support always tells you. It asks you to put in net plwiz and then what I do is click run as administrator. Right, so now here when it's saying that you want to change your thing, what, what happens is if you click here, some people have unclicked it and it still just keeps saying that the password fails and I'll show you why. So I'll put it back on so that it's requesting the password and I'll turn it off and then hit apply again and this is where the big problem comes. Right here. See where it's asking me for my username and passwords? I finally figured it out. It's not the username that it's asking for. I would put in my name Leland because that's my username for my account. Guess what? That's not what it wants. What it actually wants is your Microsoft email. So say like whatever your email is for Microsoft, type that in, then put in this new password and all that stuff. And then it works. So that's the problem. Microsoft has it set that it's asking for a username, but that's incorrect. What it wants is the email address. So as soon as you change that to your email address, then put in your password, confirm the password, reboot, boom, problem solved. So yeah, I don't know if Microsoft is ever gonna change this field, so it says email, and not username, then they won't have thousands and thousands of people that are fucking pissed and can't get their computer to boot automatically. Right, so thanks everyone for watching the episode. If you want to help me out at all, so what I'll have in the description below, just hit the show more information button, is a link to this. It's the free Bitcoin casino. And what you can do here is you get a free spin every hour. You can see here I got 35,788 Satoshi. So just hit roll. Boom. Now I'm at 35,806 Satoshi. If you're wondering what Satoshi is, it's the pennies of Bitcoin. And if you save up enough pennies that you actually reach the full Bitcoin, boom. Then you'll have a Bitcoin that's worth a lot. And this site's cool. Not only can you do these free spins up here in the top by hitting free Bitcoin every hour, but you can also play a lottery game and you can also do a casino game. It's got betting so that you can bet on sports and all that other stuff, stock market, you name it. And even an interest thing where you can collect 4% interest on your balance as long as you're over 30000 So yeah, the lottery, contests, and yeah, if you want to help out with that with me, that'd be great. Or if you're in Canada, you can just send me a couple bucks to the Interact email money transfer. I have it set up to the email address that showed before, leland2 at hotmail.com. So I appreciate everyone who wants to help me out for helping them fix that Windows problem because man, it was bugging me for years. Some of the other affiliate links I got in the description below is my Patreon. You can help out with that. Society6, I've got some merchandise with Finishing Quick is my specialty. It also comes on t-shirts and bed sheets and those are very popular with the ladies. Trust me. <laughs> no, and Swagbucks is a discount code service like Air Miles that you can use online. Except now instead of getting air mile points back, you get cash back and percentages off and it even helps you find discount codes. Game Kit is where you can get paid to be a gamer. Hido TV is where you can get paid to watch videos. Similar to YouTube, instead of giving all the revenue to the creators, they also give a cut to the viewers. And then the Bitcoin, which I already showed you, and the virtual made sex machine is for adults and men only. But if ladies need a sex machine, they know who to call. <laughs> All right, take care everyone, have a good one, and make sure, don't let Windows get you too frustrated. Hope this problem helped you. Take care everyone, bye for now.
Here's three things. One will be a Bitcoin strategy to how to finish quick in Bitcoin, get more quick or lose quick. So only afford to play what you can afford to lose. And the other one will be a subscribe. And then the other one is more of a playlist on how-to stuff or other stuff I decide to link. Later.